Hello everyone, this is JP is so crazy with Crazy Gamer Productions. Today I'm back with you guys on the refinery. We're going to refine this oil into fuel. In the previous episode, we showed you guys how to set up your pumps to pump the uh, lava, the water, and the oil. As you could see, I still got this stuff standing here because I want to go in a step by step here how all this stuff works. So we're going to start with refining this oil into fuel. To do this, you need a refinery. Just right here. I'm going to place this approximately three blocks out from the oil. I'm going to set it down and you want it facing outwards on this setup anyhow. This is how I'm doing it. You guys will get the idea after this is all said and done and then you can play with it yourself to see uh, how you want to set it up. We need to get this oil here into the refinery, into these two little pipes here in the back. To do this, we're going to need some uh, water transportation pipes, or liquid. We'll come over to our chest, a conductive, waterproof, transport, transport pipes, I want to stick with waterproof pipes. We're going to need one wooden one and a stone one. We'll go with stone. Like I said, there's cobblestone, there's golden, it's whatever your preference is. Go back over here. To pump it out, you're going to have to set up engines to pump this out. So what we're going to do, first you need to hook up a wooden waterproof pipe and then we're going to hook up the stone to that to the back of the refinery just like so. To get this to pump out like I said we're going to use engines and more engines you use the quicker this will work. Just like so. We need some levers. I think I've actually We'll just use some redstone torches. Well, no, we used them earlier. We'll go with levers just to show you it works the same way. Except with levers, you can turn them on and off whenever you want. See how it's kind of got that little dust animation? And you know there's power going to it. And for the top one, since there's not a block there, we're going to have to place a block. Just use a piece of wood here. Oop, I need my lever back. Put that up. Put the lever there. As you can tell, it works. Now, there's not a whole lot of oil in this tank, uh, so I guess it is a little bit of overkill to have uh, these engines. But uh, if you have several tanks hooked up and then a pipe going to those, uh, it'll it'll pump it a lot faster okay now we have the oil into the refinery we have to get power to this refinery for these little pegs to move up and down like you'll see here shortly how we're going to do this we're going to use solar panels so we're going to set up ourselves the solar panels I'm using currently the high voltage solar arrays and always uh, so I got enough power uh, use three of them. You can place your power lines underneath it, but uh, if they're connected, they pretty much uh, do the same thing. They're running the power. <clears throat> then we're going to put a MFSU connected to that. You want this uh, little plug in here sign where the power is being plugged into it because this is the energy source right here. We look inside of it you can tell it's really fine up there that's because we're using these high voltage solar arrays you have medium voltage you have low voltage so low voltage is going to take a long time and you're just for one high voltage solar panel is like using 15 20 low voltage ones so that's why I'm using the high voltage just so I can show you guys how this works it has five imports here you see the plug there you don't see like the little female outlet that means that's where you plug in the power source into the MFSU 
one with the female and the male outlet is where the power is coming out. Now, if you're not running this texture pack, a lot of times you'll have one red dot and then you'll have three red dots. That one red dot is going to be the out. The three red dots is going to be the in. Okay, we have our power set up. Now we need some fiber optic lines. We don't need these levers no more. So we'll grab some of these. Thank you, Arma Maiden, for that daytime. We'll run the power out. Next, you need an energy link. We'll hook that up there. So it hooks right into there. Now we're sending the power from the solar panels to the MFSU through the fiber cable lines into the energy link. Now we need the energy link to send power to the refinery. So this is what we're going to need now are some conductive pipes. Get rid of some of this inventory. We don't need that refinery, the solar panels, the energy link, or the MFSU. So let's look at our pipes. We want the conductive. Here's our conductive. We need one wooden and a few uh, we'll go with the the stone well just I always use the gold seems to, to me to work a lot better let's grab a few of those <clears throat> now to make this work as far as I'm aware of we need to start it with a wooden conductive pipe coming out and we'll run our golden We'll hook that into there and we'll piece them up and as you can tell now we got a little electrical line going through that pipe and it's refining the oil now, some cases you may be able to run this all the way to the other side I want it connecting on the top so we'll go up high enough and come down with it in some cases it'll move a little bit faster I've had six of these in a line running these here and it seemed to work a little bit better. You don't have to have these, but just for this tutorial, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, it's it's possible to get it to run a little bit faster. And if it slows down, you'll see these things really moving slow. And then you'll just try some creative ideas like I just did to try to make it go a little bit faster. See so what kind of drainage it's doing on here nothing look at that it's still building up energy just because of those high voltage solar arrays okay now we want to put all this stuff all that fuel into a tank just like that so what we're going to do we're going to go dra grab one of these tanks well we got some here yep put that in there we will need a lever again for our engines and we're going to need the waterproof pipes again we don't need these we have our waterproof pipes so we'll go back over here now we're wanting to pump this fuel like I said into a, another tank so we'll just build a couple tanks here We'll go as high as the other one. Once again, you want to start with a wooden pipe and then a stone pipe or a cobblestone or a golden one, just whatever you want to use. Just remember, you can't hook a cobblestone to a stone. You may be able to hook a cobblestone or a stone one to a golden pipe, but cobblestone and stone don't hook together. We'll just put two engines on this time. The levers on there. Turn them on. And it should be pumping the fuel into the tank. Just like so. Now you guys may venture out of your area. Um, I guess some oil over here somewhere. As you can tell, we have an oil spout right over here. We're going to take 
for example, see, our town is way over here. We wanted to send this oil that's over here to that area. If you watched in the earlier video, I was using the teleportation pipes. You can do the same setup from that. Instead of putting this uh, stone pipe here, you can put that teleport pipe on there, change that frequency, and it will actually pump that all the way over there. But you do have to plump a world anchor down. Let's see if I can find one of these. What the world anchor does is basically keep the chunks loaded in this spot. So when I'm out hunting oil and stuff and I find a place I want to pump it back to my refinery so it can be refined, I'll put down a world anchor because I'm not going to be in this area and the chunks will not stay loaded. So I'll put a world anchor down to keep those chunks loaded so that stuff gets teleported to the next destination. That's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the designated area and I'll re respond to them as quickly as possible. Please like the video and subscribe and I'll make another video for you guys later. Thanks.